What's up guys? Uh, ooh, vlog number 14. Yeah, because I had other vlogs on my channel I never knew about. Holy crap. So today is all about Windows 7. Windows 7 today, which is uh, January 14th. End of support. Microsoft is not supporting Windows 7 anymore. So what does that mean? That means you're not going to receive any Windows 7 uh, updates. So and no security. No patches, no nothing. Boom. Uh, so what options do you have? Well, upgrade yourself to Windows 10. I'm assuming Windows 7 is still going to be useful. You're still able to use it. I would kind of suggest having a strong antivirus program. Keep that up to date. Uh, I know a lot of hackers out there are going to try to find any exploits to try to hack Windows 7 machines. I feel like, just like they did with Windows XP, it's still going to somewhat support Windows 7 for the enterprise individuals out in the world because there's a lot of legacy applications out there that needs Windows 7 and those applications are not supported within the Windows 10. So I feel like Microsoft might still support Windows 7 somewhat, right? So my thing is, if you don't want to get Windows 10 and you're trying to find a reliable operating system, upgrade into Linux, right? So these are my top three Linux operating systems that I would that I would recommend to anyone. Not in any specific order. Number one is uh, Linux Mint, right? Uh, it's super easy to use. Operating system is pretty fast, pretty smooth. There's always updates to the operating system. Uh, number two is elementary OS. I was actually introduced to this operating system about a year ago. I played around with it. It's constantly being upgraded. It is based on a Mac OS environment. It actually has like a dock just like the Mac. So it's super easy. If you've used Apple products, I say go for that. And the last one will be Ubuntu. I use that a lot. It is constantly being upgraded uh, a lot. I think it's in version 19 right now or 1804 or 19 something but the desktop version is well popular it has firefox it has uh alternate versions of word excel and powerpoint that you're able to use uh, I'm, I'm i'm actually creating a how-to video on how to install obs studio within the linux environment and i'm using ubuntu i'm always using that that's my favorite operating system so if you don't want to jump into windows 10 and you want to find a reliable operating system why not go inside linux because it's free it's always constantly being patched up a lot of updates and it's free 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 and you can always find alternative and you know using office or you can always do a dual boot Dual boot basically means you can have like a Linux operating system installed and have Windows 7 installed on the same partition. And then when you're booting into your machine, it gives you the option of what you want to boot into. You can also do that with Windows 10 and Windows 7. Have dual boot. Why not, right? So uh, I'm going to end it right here because I'm actually going to upgrade my current work machine, which is Windows 7. I'm kind of sad. I got my... I got a new machine and I'm going to rebuild it and push out my corporate operating system using SCCM uh, with MDT integration yes and I'm gonna push out Windows 10 on it because the Windows 7 is obsolete right now so hopefully you guys enjoy make sure you keep your a strong backup back up the entire machine and then you know take one of those Linux operating systems why not you know they're free or go for it download and upgrade your windows 7 to windows 10 i think microsoft is still advertising it for free if you have a legit windows 7 serial number uh and you could do it that route all right so i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out